ago here it is it's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel these folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the new york jets and the miami dolphins what mark 
to kick off for the Jets. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10 at their 35 yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Flush to his right. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. The tackle that's good for a jet first down. A gain of 13. A gain of 13 yards. First down, Jets. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. The pass. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Complete 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. Okay, so I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. From the two now, second and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Jets have taken a first quarter. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Well, these guys have won. It's a wobbler, and it's intercepted. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. A fake extra point. Brett Maher to kick off. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line.
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Prescott from the gun. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Chandler Jones in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said, it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this. Right exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. But right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. At their own 45-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. And inches at the 34-yard line. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Now an option play and he'll keep it. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. complete. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Six-nothing our score after one. In the first quarter, with the score Jets six, Dolphins nothing. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. 
And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Six-yard line. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. On the screen pass, that's complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Brings up second and goal at the one-yard line. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them, but it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. On second down, Prescott again. He's going to take another shot here. And that's caught inside the 35. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. After the sack here, second and 11. You, you, you. You, you, you. Shift, shift. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Brandon, and all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. To throw is Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by Waller out left side. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. First down, Jets. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back to throw now on first down. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. 
Eight, yards. Eight more yards this time coming off back-to-back -back first down pickups. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. On second down now, it's Jacobs. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And the Jets' first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Malik Collins forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Dancing to his left. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Well, that was an interesting look there, because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off. And made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, looking for Waller, but this is intercepted. Picked off at the 11. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Throwing again, Prescott on second and ten. They'll set up a screen for Brita. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Jets will take over first and 10. At their own 18-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. You're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene that says let's push the envelope a little bit, right? What needs to be going through the play caller's mind right now, a potential fumbled snap that can get returned, a strip sack that can get returned, right? Any of those types of plays, that should be a deterrent to calling something that could get you in big trouble. Eluding the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. The Dolphins get there this time and they bring him down. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. They'll throw now on the final play. And a throw there going to be incomplete. 
So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. Taken about seven yards deep and the half will begin with a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They got 29 yards that time. First down, New York. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 46. They'll look to throw. A short one here secured by the tight end Waller. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Seven yards there and a first down. A gain of seven. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Yeah, that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. A gain of nine. That's a really Three nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. First and goal. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is right in the sight line. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Josh Jacobs hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, 
not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now Prescott. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean... Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Charles, not to point fingers, but how much of this goes on the shoulders of the offensive line? I mean, look at the six sacks last week. That's the fourth in this game. Definitely the bulk of it does go on the offensive line. That's what they're tasked with doing, keeping their quarterback upright and clean in the pocket. But I think they have to look at, okay, are we bringing in extra people? Is the ball out of the quarterback's hands quick enough? There are a few other factors that they have to look at to try and help out, but you're exactly right. It starts with the O-line. Now he's going to let it go, and this is caught. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try to run with Breida. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. It's the fullback, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are able to draw a bit closer. That is good, and that'll make it 20 to 7. Makes the score Jets 20, Dolphins 7. touchdown here's Gonzalez on to kick it away taken about seven yards deep and he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That's the back now in Miami. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here. second and a yard from the 34. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here and we get set to begin quarter number four. And he'll have a Jets first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you when you're taking charge? Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front that offensive line they've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield they get 11 back on that one it leads to third down the jets on third down they've hit two for four thus far this time they face a third and two trying to run for it with jacobs and he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. a third down gain of three yards and that'll be enough first down jets on first down he'll drop to throw looking deep this is caught inside the 15. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. A big play there. 
His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Jets will extend their lead. Brett, Brett Maher on, on for the extra point. point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. Makes the score Jets 27. Dolphins following the touchdown. Here's Maher to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. Here's Prescott. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Prescott from the gun on third. And that will be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. And the Jets' pressure too much as down he goes. Quinnen Williams. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. He's got the first down inside the 10. And finally wrestled down at the 8-yard line. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Here's Jacobs. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the 7 down to the 4-yard line. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but... This offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are, because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Josh Jacobs with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great. To have it. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And quick throw here. That's complete. And that one goes virtually nowhere. Trying to fake extra point, but nothing comes of it. Partner, that type of a lead, and they're going to fake it from the 15 to try and pick up a two-point play instead of kicking it through the post. Come on, man. Put that in mothballs. Come on. Come on. Don't do that. Put that in mothballs. Yeah, preserve that for it. That's, a, that's an ancient relic, faking it. You, you, I can understand you. You want to rub it in a little. You fake it when you snapped it from the three. But from the 15, mothball that bad boy, just like my grandmother had. Yeah, in her my, attic, the my stuff grandmother did the same. It smells yeah, terrible. Same <laughs> Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. So Mike's number one, Mike's number one. I got him. Here we go. Oh, A second down throw for Prescott. 
And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath. Nearly got picked. Maybe lucky to have that one back. Third down. This has been a rough one, to put it mildly, for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Prescott, escaping the pressure right. He made, oh, Prescott stripped. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down on a 21-yard gain. Well, that was a big oops right there, but how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. From the gun. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver, plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. They come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. And again, it's Prescott. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Scott looks to throw on first. Being chased out left. And his throw here is incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. And Prescott, his third interception. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. Hey, it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski. Maybe not a touchdown, but, boy, he's playing really well. Byron Jones in there to make the tackle. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Running is Jacobs. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. 
Raekwon Davis on the stop. It's a gain of five. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown. And that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So for the Jets, they get win number 10 on the year as they move to 10-1. and one. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to New England to take on the Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, the problems just get worse and worse as they fall to 2-9 and nine now on the year. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
too bad, Gavin. Hey, boy, and be so you got yeah. no dessert. Okay. Sometimes you need a friend, not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, uh, sometimes you need a friend. Want to keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. You know the ones that want to keep you where you've been before. But I can't go. No, I can't go. And whoa, uh, sometimes I need a check. Not the sneakers, but the ones that make you watch your step. You know, I sat down with my account and he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. Okay. I said, what's the bad news? Oh. Okay. Look, sometimes you...